Thanks for dropping in. I've just returned from the Rocky Mountain Rep Rap Festival in Loveland, Colorado. As you saw in the intro, my table was loaded with every single print I could squeeze into a small car. There was so much stuff, the table wasn't enough to hold it all. So I designed this. Printy Panels, a fully 3D printed, modular, snap together shelving system. Just insert a clip into one of these plus shaped ports and slide to lock it in. Add a few more clips and then a couple panels and you've got a mini stand. The port design evolved as I tried to find different ways to clip everything together. I settled on this plus shape because it supports eight possible clip positions. That's four positions on either side of the panel. And since the clips sit flush with the panel surface, you can make use of both sides of the panel at the same time. In fact, with a little planning, each port can hold up to four clips simultaneously. That's pretty useful for creating more rigid constructions. I plan to grow this project over time, but it's launching with quite a few basic parts. First, there's the panels themselves. These come in sizes ranging from 3x3 to 8x8. Smaller rectangular panels, like this 6x1, can act as reinforcing ribs for shelves that will hold heavier items. Many of these panel sizes also come with large window cutouts. While these are less rigid than their solid counterparts, they let more light through, which is a good trade-off in some situations. The system uses seven basic clips, interior corner clips which come in both small and large sizes, exterior corner clips, also available in small and large, and flat clips in small, large, and wide. You can make some very creative shelves by combining these parts, but I also wanted something a little simpler for quicker assembly, which is pretty important when you're using this in a trade show. For that, I created these box connector clips. If you look around the edge, you'll see that these large square connectors only clip to half of the available ports. That's so you can connect box clips side by side for an unlimited array of shelves. To add rigidity, the box clips are also available in this reinforced option. I use these in the backs of my shelves at Remurf, and they kept everything together during the jostling and bustling of a busy event. I mentioned that this project is likely to grow. To support that, I've included template files for all the panels and connectors. That'll make it easy for you to create your own custom panel sizes. And yes, I'm already working on panels that are compatible with the Gridfinity system developed by Zach Friedman. The possibilities for organization has gained another dimension. Those panels will be out in the near future, along with their own templates. Out of respect for the Gridfinity license, which is non-commercial in nature, these panels will be released separately from the main project, which is otherwise free for commercial use. If you want to make your own printy panels, I recommend using ABS, PETG, or stronger formulations of PLA. Silk, wood fill, or matte PLAs could work, but they tend to be more brittle or suffer from worse layer adhesion. For both strength and print speed, thicker 0.3 millimeter layers work great. You can use 0.2 millimeter layers, but they'll just take longer to print without any noticeable benefit. I was a little worried when I noticed the larger panels curled slightly as they cooled, but this turned out to be an unexpected benefit. When you clip multiple panels together, these gentle opposing curves hold onto the connectors even more strongly. That said, more severe curling, especially near the corners or at the connecting points, can be a problem, and those should be countered by adding a brim or by cleaning your print bed. It may not look like it, but this is just the start of the Printy Panels project. Let me know if you have any other ideas to help expand on the system, or if you've created your own remixes. Alright, it's time for me to get back to expanding on this design. So until next time, happy printing and thanks for stopping by.
like I said, this project has just started.